Four months after Sean Hornbeck went missing in Missouri in October of 2002, his desperate mom and dad sought answers from a psychic on national TV. She did it on our friend Montel Williams' television show. Watch. The guy was um, dark-skinned. Um, although he wasn't black, he was more uh, Hispanic looking. Um, had uh, real long, dark hair. And strange enough, Hispanic, but he had dreadlocks. Is he still with us? Uh, we welcome James Randy, investigator and mystifier, or demystifier of paranormal and pseudoscientific claims. He's founder of the James Randy Educational Foundation, the website for which is randy.org. He's also the best-selling author and worked as a professional magician once under the name The Amazing Randy. He's in Fort Lauderdale. In Venice, Florida, is Rosemary Altea, described on our website, Rosemary, rosemaryaltea.com, as an internationally renowned spiritual medium. She's the best-selling author of The Eagle and the Rose. Rosemary, we'll start with you. What do you make of what we just saw? Uh, well, Larry, I think it was inevitable that something like this would happen. I've been saying for as long as I can remember that um, we should be much more discerning. The little, no little bit of knowledge is a dangerous thing. And there are many, many people out there, most of us, in fact, we have some psychic ability. We have some instinct some understanding of, uh, of a connection beyond this world. Um, but so many people now are so irresponsible with this gift. You know, they have a little gift, a little knowledge, and a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Mm. I am so, so sad for the, for the parents of this boy and what they have been through, uh, not just losing their son, but relying on somebody, somebody actually like, somebody like me, um, and going but, to that person and, and asking these questions and expecting, you know, e mm. expecting to, but, to find the truth. By the way, we've asked Montel Williams to respond to the controversy about the reading Sylvia Brown did on his TV show. He had no comment. He also took a pass on appearing on this program to discuss uh, the topic. We'll have some other statements uh, later. James Randi, she did uh, describe the accused villain pretty well. She described the accused villain as having yeah. dreadlocks, long hair. Well, he had, didn't he have long black hair? No, he did not. He was very fat <clears throat> and not at all tall, as she had described. Okay. Well, I, I would call that long based on my own hair, but all right. But the point being, of course, is she did say he had passed away. Well, how do you read this? Well, she said that the boy had passed away, yes. She also said it about the other young boy that went missing at the same time that the police were doing their search. And uh, this is not uncommon at all, Larry. These people, when they're wrong, they're usually dramatically wrong. When they're right, they're only right with common things that you would expect to be true. Now, the expectation was that this kid had been kidnapped and would probably have been killed. And certainly the one that was gone for four years would certainly have been killed by now. That was the expectation. So she went along with the expected scenario, and she said that to the parents, and she practically destroyed them. It's terrible. Yeah, Rosemary, how do you respond to that? It is, isn't it? Yes, it's terrible. And um, I, I want to make something clear here. I'm not here to uh, debunk uh, Sylvia Brown. I don't know Sylvia Brown. I don't know Sylvia Brown. I don't know what her gift is like. We all make mistakes. Having said that, we all know also that there are, in every profession, there are people who uh, state that they are much more qualified than in fact they are. Um, we get a quack doctor, that doesn't mean that the whole of the medical profession uh, should be condemned for one quack doctor. Basically what I'm saying is, people do make mistakes, that's the first thing. Second thing is, there are many, many people out there who have this incredible and beautiful gift, and it is a gift. Sure. And it's a very rare gift, <clears throat> and uh, we have that gift, and we treat it with respect. 
Um, well, where are these people? That's my question. You see, the James Randi Educational Foundation offers a million dollar oh, prize here we go again, to any of these James. people. Yes, we do go We've again. We've been there. We've been there. Rosemary, you and we I have before. been there we repeatedly. Have. That's very true. We have. But why and won't you take the prize? Well, Simple we, answer, please. Uh, we discussed this on the Larry King show the last time. You come up with a, a real plan, and I don't believe there's a million dollars. I don't want to get into that. No, wait a minute. That. Hold on. Hold that on. That's the first did, objection. No, no, no. That's wait. the one that one everybody second. makes. No, no, no. There's no, no, no million no, no. dollars. One, one second. Now, there yeah. is a million dollars. It's with Goldman Sachs in New York in a special account, okay. awardable only for this particular purpose. So okay. don't give me that. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go into this discussion. We had this out before, James. My, my interest and my concern here is that people don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Mm. There, is some, there is an incredible and a rare gift. I, it doesn't matter to me, James, whether you believe it or whether you don't. Oh, no, it's there not a case millions, whether I believe it. It's whether are, or not it is so. If, if you'd let me talk now, uh, please. There are millions of people around the world who have had incredible evidence. And I think, Larry, the key is that... You know, I'm educating people all the time. In my first book, I was talking about we have to be skeptical. People have to be skeptical. What, what sure. is happening when somebody goes on a show, they've lost a child, the, the child has gone missing, and they ask somebody, a total stranger, she may be a celebrity, but she's a total stranger to them, what happened to my son? Why, why are we buying into this kind of thing without... All right, James, uh, I've got to take a break. Hold it. James, are you saying that there is no such thing as psychic ability? No, I have not said that, Larry. What I've said is these people claim there is. I don't make any claim one way or the other. I simply say if there is such a thing, we will pay them a million dollars U.S. Oh. All right. As Sylvia states during her appearances on the Montel Show in her books and on her radio show and in each of her lectures, she cannot possibly be 100% correct in each and every one of her Prediction. And I don't expect that. I have no expectation she also adds, of that at all. all right. She has, during a career of over 50 years, helped literally tons of thousands of people. It's also sad that many in the public will afford any other professionals, such as doctors, lawyers, law enforcement, the right to be human and to be wrong, but not Sylvia. That I will grant her the right to be human and to be wrong, Larry. I just want evidence that it is so. I can take it from Rosemary. I can take it from Sylvia, from James von Prague, John Edward, any of them. All right, let's get a break, and we'll come back uh, with more on this edition of Larry King Live. Don't go away. I just happen to be born with it. Why are you? Happen, I don't know. It's the same thing as... When like, you get this channeling, what do you do? What do you mean by channeling? Channeling means that I just am like an open tube. What goes on with Sylvia is entirely different from what I get. I mean, Sylvia can have her own problems, but there's a side of me that's like a tube in which it just comes through. In which you see things about people? See things about... Th and I'm like with the rest of them. I'm much more into uh, the whole idea of God's uh, goodness and the survival of the soul after death.